Welcome back to Dark Souls Remastered, everyone, with the Pyromancer character. In this episode, we're gonna be finishing up this area, I think. First of all, I'm gonna do the little unlock, you know, the actual path to Seath. And then we'll go ahead and switch around the spells a little bit, because... Seath is one of the few bosses here in the late game where the... What you call it? Uh, the Firestorm type spells are actually useful. So I thought if we have an opportunity... God damn, that's like... The thing about that attack is it cannot be interrupted. Which does happen with some enemy attacks. I think it only happens with enemy attacks. Like, nothing is 100% uninterruptible if you're a player. Everything has a few... Uh, kind of weak. No, holy shit! This one, this one is about to float off the fucking platform. I don't know if he can actually do that. So yeah, this area, I mean, this little section here, does become a lot more annoying if one of them gets the stupid buff off. But like this, it's like, I mean, look at this. They ain't exactly dealing a lot of damage and they can't exactly take too many hits so yeah this should be quick work if i have more time left over i don't actually know what i'm gonna do i don't know which area i should be taking next i'll probably go visit quelana pick up some few doink magics because she still has a few left and upgrade the glove which, gotta figure out what exactly the requirement is to start her quest. Hopefully I didn't lock myself out of it by killing Ceaseless. Oh shit, no, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, that was a mistake. Because now this fool is gonna live. It's all cool though. We don't mind, we can do a pacifist run. Man, I was playing Cuphead. I don't know when, I just want to see, you know, sometimes I go back to Cuphead every once in a while, because it's such a great game. And I was trying to do the pacifist run for the fuck-off matchmaking. Yeah, this game is still being an idiot with the online. I don't know what the hell happened. Like, apparently online's been acting up for multiple people. Or, maybe someone was trying to invade me. If that's the case, I don't exactly mind... This is an okay PvP area, I'll say that much. It's like... Well, you know, it just has, like, a good feel to it, if you can say that. The thing is, basically, what makes a good PvP area is any place where... Um, you can be very close to the bonfire and have access to a pretty large area. You know, because most people PvP just by sticking close to the, you know, their bonfire. You don't want to lose your shit, actually, if you're just PvPing for fun. Not like if you get randomly invaded. Now, see this? I should go back to Logan. Oh, motherfucker. Someone is trying to invade me. Which means I'm probably going to be dying here soon. God damn it. What's annoying if this fails or if like this glitches out. The last thing I want is to be locked out of that bonfire. I know. Well, that's brilliant. Look at look at the arrow. All right, cool. I should just go offline for this, but whatever. So yeah, I think running back to Logan is that going to waste a lot of time? Maybe not. So we're gonna do it. It's like no point in doing it, but I feel like doing it. I mean, most of this area is gonna be quick work anyways, the rest of this, so. You know, we can do a little bit of sprinting. There's one that always shows up out of nowhere. 
but as you can see like I'm not exactly playing this game in the most careful or nuanced way you know this character is fairly powerful mainly owing to the fact that uh, you can just like put so many points into your stats if you're a pyro I don't think so I swear if one of them drops the trident I'm gonna be so angry because you know that if one of these fools drops the trident I'm never gonna get that thing in the Knight's Honor playthrough where I actually want it Yeah, we're just, yeah, slowly working our way back. I mean, I can just bonfire out after, right? A bonfire, homeward bone. It's funny, I never noticed that you can actually... Well, it's not spawned, but that is the place where you hit the bonfire, right? That's pretty funny. I never put two and two together like that. Just noticed because of the messages. Keep missing. Didn't miss there. Yeah, but these guys are like impossible to stagger. Oh, yeah, I should I should have collected the white seance ring as well. Although, is it here? I don't know. Whatever, it's here up on that little platform. There's the white seance ring, which gives you an extra attunement slot, but it's pretty much not worth it. Because... You almost always have better ring options, and you don't really... I swear. But it is a weird thing that the game is doing this. Like, these are clearly people that are trying to invade me. And it's just like straight up not working. And I don't know what's going on. Um, from, you need to get your shit together and patch this. I'm not... This is not where I need to... Yeah, why am I going here? That was stupid. I'm gonna get killed by these things, I swear. Okay, knowing my luck. Yeah, eat pyromancies. Why does this track so badly? Have pyromancies always tracked this badly? Probably. But whatever. Ouch. Alright. I forgot it's so automatic to come up here. No need to do it. Oh, I, it would have been so good to use Firestorm here. Would have wrecked these things. You can see already starting of a nice chain reaction. Okay, be careful, it's almost a one shot. It's very close to being one. Just do not get grabbed. And believe me, when I say this Pyromancy Glove is nowhere near its final form. Like, once you ascend it and get the ascended version to plus 5, it becomes like absolutely ridiculous. Oh, thank you very much. Love how casual he is about this. Okay, we're gonna get the hell out of here. Oh shit. I didn't know that was that. Huh. Well, did I not pick this up when I was playing the sorcerer? I think I must have like forgotten it. Not that it matters at this point. Unless you're just like constantly going for HP. That's pretty much. Not that I say it's not worth it, it's just... You know. What's the point really? Already heals me almost full. Change my spells. Yeah. Almost forgot. It would have been... I mean, I would have killed Seath without it, but... You know. When in Rome, as they say, get a chance to use this shit, why not? Chaos Storm. And there's an even more powerful version called Fire Tempest, I think. Which we will be getting. Ah, and it's so nice. Let me tell you, we got an AC installed. A couple of weeks ago. 
It's so good. I, I missed the AC because we had one in NY when we were living there. But the thing is, like, the house here, it's pretty... Like, it's built in a way where it stays mostly cool. Um, if you, like, draw the blinds and all that. Only problem is, recently... Summers have been hot as fuck. And... And you really start missing the AC. Oh shit, I thought it was dead. I need to get the crystal one too. Not the crystal, the gold one. We also need to get the crystal set, is what I was trying to say. But at least this quest line is working correctly, because it was doing some weird shit uh, in the previous playthrough. I didn't think that would hit. Why does that? That's a weird. Why does that miss? Nice, Sue. I love how he just like falls out of the sky. Do we want to listen to her? Yeah, we'll listen to her. We won't listen to that. Yeah, but we have seen him. Cool. Nice talking to you. If I remember correctly, it should be... There it is. That was a weird interaction with that hill. Okay, this set is cool as fuck. Oh yeah, I didn't mention that, that I got two bloated heads. Seriously? It's that heavy? I got I managed to get two bloated heads while farming for humanities. Just from killing that like that sorcerer and the other one. I mean why would you want to wear that anyways? It's like Yeah, this there is no path here. But yeah, so the AC, if you haven't got an AC, I'd highly recommend it. Unless you live in a country where that's no problem. As in, it never gets this warm. There ain't no too many places like that, though. I mean, the thing about this area... Like I said, I would say the Crystal Caves is probably the... The Duke's Archives into Crystal Caves is probably the most interesting of the four kind of ending areas. I feel like this is where they put in the most work for sure. Because, you know, I thought I fell off. I genuinely thought I was going to fall off. Uh, you know the lore behind this, that they ran out of time by Lost Isolith. It's kind of a thing that happens. I guess they started with this one. Uh, these fucking clams. These can be a problem, actually. Because... They do go after you into the boss room with Seath. And you really don't want that to happen. Because, yeah, it's just a nuisance. Even though, oh, okay, nice, nice too. They, I think Seath can friendly fire them. Then taking no damage. Okay. See, some of them, the trick here is that some of them have their back turned to you. And... You can accidentally aggro them because they're placed closer together than these two. And then, by the time you'll have these ones... Oh shit, okay, that doesn't have as much range as I thought. Not as much as this. These fools have weird attacks because their attacks have almost no startup, you know. Just kind of... Annoying to deal with. Nothing. I guess I'm getting lucky on the purging stones because I have 10 humanities. So the item discovery is through the roof. As much as it can be. Should just use this attack. Look at how much more damage it deals. Ouch. Yeah, that's their big kind of... 
That's their big move. And with that big move, they can absolutely wreck me. Wonderful. Great. It's exactly what I wanted to happen. Uh, should we just try running? I think we should just try running. Oh man, if I fall off here, it's gonna be so shitty. Because of the humanities, I'm gonna have to go farming again. Cool, wonderful. Well, this has been... A wrench has been put into my plans, so... Yeah, I was gonna breeze through this area, I was so confident. Whatever. Unless I, like, fuck up really badly, which, you know, I have every chance of doing. We should be okay here. You know, never, never gonna say I'm not gonna fuck up, because... You know, I have that PS camera set up. I know Fromm is watching this shit. Manipulating so that, you know, I get fucked over by the game. I'm only kidding, of course. But am I? You know, gotta go ask Alex Jones about that. And the gay frogs. Like, what's the status on the frogs right now? I don't know. Are they are they all gay? Or has there been, like... Did they introduce frog conversion therapy or something to return them? Who knows? Gotta go on Reddit conspiracy. Which, if you just wanna... If you wanna converse with Russian bots, I would... Highly recommend Reddit Conspiracy. One of the better places to do that on. Oh shit, okay, this, this is probably... Well, it's kind of work. Is it working out? Can you say this is working out? I don't know. Oh, these fuckers are going to be all over me. Unless I triggered the cutscene. Holy shit, she's creepy <laughs> when she's hollow. I don't know if it's just the lighting, but damn. All right, we're not interested in you, Seath. Watch me, watch this chaos storm. Oh yeah, you know what? Let me put the... Is he gonna break his own? Yes. Watch this. Damn, I got unlucky. Normally more pillars hit him. But still, that's a quarter of his HP. You know, it's like... Decent damage. Yeah, he's... He don't like pyromancy too much. He's more resistant to magic, like sorcery and all that, but... As you can see... Not a huge fan. Did that completely miss? Okay, there we go. This should be it. Yeah. Incredibly easy. I mean... Even with like... I didn't even need the Xanthus crown. But you know... Sometimes you gotta put on the yellow blood butt plug to... Just be on the safe side. 60,000, all right. Where is she? A daughter of Chaos. Just thinking, wait, can you warp to the Great Hollow? No, you can't. All right, then. Uh, daughter of Chaos it is. So, like, I thought that this episode would be derailed by that one death, but it actually turned out to be incredibly easy. Yeah, not even breaking a sweat. But then, you can see, like, my glove is plus 14. You get it to plus 15, and then there's an extra 5 levels left, which is 
just takes it to ridiculous levels. I mean, just absolutely ridiculous levels. Uh, it's already pretty much crushing everything in my path. Only thing is, you actually gotta be able to hit stuff with it. I mean, Seath is an easy piece of work. Because it's so large. But some of the other bosses can be more problematic. Let's use Black Flame. That's not. I just noticed that the Pyromancer Glove is kind of, there's like sparks flying off, kind of embers when you're running, just when you're walking through. Okay, that's a pretty nice detail, I gotta admit. So if nothing else, I always forget the studio's name that did the remaster. If nothing else, they demonstrated that they can do particle effects well. Fuck. The thing is, you can't really like ignore these enemies because... They do go after you, and they can hit Koelana. Okay, let me just stop trying to use Pyromancy. It's clearly not working. Just go. Roll that giant rock past me. And look at this one stuck. This is a top tier evasion from yours truly. I don't know how the hell I avoided that. Like, that shouldn't physically have been possible. But... Whatever. It worked. What up, girl? Yeah, but then I came back, you know. Okay. And then ascend this bitch. And what do I, you have left? Oh yeah, Firestorm. Should get that, but... I'll just clear out these. Now, does she say anything? Oh, cool. Okay. And then I think if you now come back to her. Damn. Maybe not. Okay. So we've ascended our pyromancy flame. You can see the little logo changes and... I don't know if the description changes, probably not, but what does change is the amount of damage it does. It changes by quite a bit, let me tell you that. So I think what I'm going to do is just rest up, because I'm going to see if this might trigger her to start the quest. We also got the bro... Uh, so not Solaire, Ziegmeier here. We gotta visit. Do I have what he requires? Yeah, okay. We'll do that, because now I actually know the kind of steps to take for this quest. Motherfucker, I think it's actually impossible to get to her and not be poisoned. There we go. Lore master right here. Engulfed mother and my sisters, and molded them into deformed creatures. Only I escaped. And now I am here. But my mother and sisters have been in anguish since. I beseech you. Free mother and my sisters from the flame of chaos. I cannot do it myself. I lack the strength. I actually like this NPC a lot. Yeah, 
Yeah, about this katana. Yeah, let's let's just leave it at that. It's not like it's made from the soul of your sister or anything. Okay, that's all. That's all she says. Cool. Nice to. Let's move on. So yeah, don't mention the katana. It's okay. Again, we didn't really use your sister's soul to make it or anything like that. It's not like the very nature of this katana is the anger of your sister. Don't worry. No worries. Thank you, random person who gave me an Astus. Very useful. Just gotta find this onion shaped bro and we'll be good to go. That rhyme was not intentional, I'll tell you that much. There he is. Are these worm things gonna. Nah. Oh, yeah, he's sleeping, isn't he? It's got this. This is the only time you see this animation, I think, right? Okay, of course. He takes three, by the way. Hey, a shield that we're never gonna use. Yeah, and yeah, he's a religious fanatic. It's all cool. Let's head back to Firelink for a little bit because I think... Oh, fuck off out of here. Because I think his daughter now spawns there and I want to use the Firekeeper's soul too. I feel like I've been making... Oh shit, I nearly... Okay, that's the second time in two episodes I've nearly dropped my controller. As in last time I did actually drop my controller. Still... No problem. Hasn't broken or anything. Or at least I've not noticed it breaking. Okay, yep, there she is. Yes, I have. Cool. Second thing to do is to talk to this guy. Oh, does it not work anymore? Okay, that's cool. Then I managed to save this dude. Because normally he also asks where you got that powerful flame if you have an ascended pyromancy glove. But apparently he only does that once, so... Yeah, that dude is gonna get to live, which is good, because he's chill. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and start wrapping this episode up here. I wanna thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of the Pyro Guide. Next time, I don't know what we'll do. Probably continue along Lost Isolith, because kind of this, the quest has started, so now I'm invested. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.